hello everyone welcome back in this video let's see how to calculate mean median mode and standard deviation in excel in this table we have the serial number first and then product a product b and product c details now let's calculate the mean in this table for this i use function called average a v e r a g e and then i press the tab and the argument is numbers for that i select the product details of a from row number 5 to 14 then close bracket press center so you got the mean for product a now just for product b and c i just copy the formula and then paste it to the respective columns so you have the mean now let's calculate the median for this i use the function called median then again the argument is to select the numbers close bracket press center copy and paste it and then the mode mode the third one we need to select then again the argument is to select the numbers close bracket just copy paste the formula and now let's calculate the standard deviation for that sd st d e b a this is the argument to be used press tab and then select the product numbers from row number 5 to 14 close bracket press center let's section this formula here is a standard deviation now we have the data let's put it into a graphical representation uh, let me select the whole table here and then go to insert and then you have the recommended chart so let's select the recommended chart and you have the uh, chart sample available now let's select this click ok and now you let's change the uh, series for this i click right click select data and then i switch the rows and columns click ok here you go and now uh, since the standard deviation uh, the numbers are less compared to mean median mode let put this in the different series for this i select this right click uh, format data series and then instead of primary axis i make it as secondary axis and then uh, go to insert uh, here uh, let's select any of this click ok now you see uh, the graph looks better so let's drag this to the right side let's make little formatting yeah and then I will remove this uh, grid lines what we have in the background by selecting this and just press delete 